Hi everyone. Uh, I'm finally in Skopje in North Macedonia. And this is Alexander the Great. And yeah, I'm here to talk about yesterday. So it's not a hugely important day, as in not a lot of things happen, but there's a couple of stories here and there that, that might be might be fun. Uh, so yeah, I'll try to keep him. It's, I'm trying to find a place to, to film, but I want to stay in the sunlight and I want to not be too close to the, the work going on. Uh, I think this, this could be good. I'll just film from lower down. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, yesterday uh, it was from Pristina to Skopje and not a terribly exciting day uh, in that, yeah, not much happened. Uh, sorry, is this, you can see up my nose if I do the inverse. I'll just, you can see the people. There we go. Oh, actually, I'll walk it off, show you something else. Um, so yeah, not a hugely important day. Uh, left Pristina and that was interesting in that like Leaving Pristina was through really big roads, um, so yeah, not the safest thing. And I tried to get off of them, but I think it was just the only way to get out was through big roads. So that was something. Uh, and yeah, I didn't. I left around eight, and it took about five hours. So I knew I was not gonna stop really for lunch. So I was like, well, I'm gonna try to do something else like just stop for snacks and so I stopped twice um, yeah and then after after leaving Pristina I, I took smaller roads so that was okay uh, yeah so I stopped for snacks and it was kind of fun because like I felt again like the attraction like I stopped for to get some um, some crackers and then like three three boys were like looking at me and like try to speak English so I, <laughs> I was like oh thank you and they're like you're welcome <laughs> so it was quite it was quite fun um, and then so that was leaving Pristina and then oh right and then there was this one house it was very strange on the just on the side of the road no I don't think it was a terribly busy road either and it was this place that had like two big American flags on either side and when you go, when you look like uh, of the, either side of the entrance, and then when you go uh, further along, uh, you look further along, you can see a building that really resembles a small version of the White House. And I think that's what it was meant to be. And I don't know why, so I don't know if it's somebody like who had too much money on their hands and was like, oh, I want to see the, the White House. So I don't know. Here, I'll, you'll have this as a background. And then there's a bridge there with a bunch of statues that is quite cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know what that house was doing there. And then I kept going and then, oh right, and then right before going to Macedonia, North Macedonia, I had, um, I, I stopped at a bakery to, again, to get something to eat uh, because it was about an hour left from that point. Uh, and I didn't know how long the border was going to take. So I had a grab to, to eat. Uh, and the bakery, the lady at the bakery didn't speak any English, but I recognized Burek, so I was like, oh, Burek. And then she gives me the options, which I don't understand. And then the guy, I guess, that, that works there, he's like, oh, just come with me. And then he, he shows me that uh, the Burek was just made, and so I'm guessing he's showing me there's meat in it? I'm not sure. And so I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I get Burek. And then, uh, so I pay for it, and then the man is like, oh, blah, 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 blah. and then he opens the fridge and gives me this like little pot. It looks like a yogurt pot, and he puts it in the bag. And so I pay for that too, even though I didn't ask for it. But I was like, oh, he, he, I guess it's well intentioned. I'm not sure. So, and yeah, and so I ate my budek, which was nice, and then I ate or I drank the the yogurt. But it was weird. It was not liquid yogurt. It was not what you expect. A liquid yogurt to taste like it was more um water mixed with yogurt like watery yogurt yeah that was what it, it felt like so not not the nicest thing to drink but it was all right uh, and then the border was fine uh actually i was a bit scared because of the whole how i came into kosovo uh so i was a bit scared of if they like we're gonna see that I don't have a stamp in the passport or something 
and then <laughs> uh, he looks at the passport he goes stamp and I'm like uh oh he's asking me for the stamp like I was like what he goes stamp and then I was like oh no he's just asking me if I want a stamp I didn't know it was an option so I said yes just because I, I was just so relieved that he's not like asking me why I don't have a stamp for Kosovo so I was like oh sure yes <laughs> and so he, he stamps it all happy and then yeah I, I go on my merry way uh, yeah, get into Skopje. Uh, oh right, when I got into the hostel at Skopje, uh, it was kind of fun. So this hostel is actually like really close to a really nice building. I'll take a picture of it tonight and post it on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, it's close. Like you can see the castle from the the hostel, and you can see like a really nice government building that's all lit up at night. So I'll definitely take a picture of it. Uh, but yeah, as I got into the hostel, it was a, a familiar face, which. I, I just incredible how often this happens and I looked at it I was like oh it's the French guy like the cycling French guy which I guess might be what people call me too but anyway um, yeah it was the guy who was uh, the three guys that were from France that I met in Pogorica. Uh I don't know if I talked about it in the video or not but anyways they were yeah they were doing a very similar trip to me but instead of ending up in Ist Istanbul they ended up in Athens uh, but he and he was on his own, so I like he was busy on his computer, so I didn't really bother him. And this morning we talked a bit more, and it turns out that like he had a bit of a knee problem, and so he decided to take it really easy. Uh, and he was supposed to finish his trip in Thessaloniki, uh, which is my next stop after this. And his friends had to finish in Athens, so they split. Uh, and he's yeah, he's just finishing his uh, journey on. On, by bus uh, so this morning he went to check out if it was possible to go by bus uh, to Thessaloniki with his bike like put his bike on a bus and I think they told him ask the driver so he needs to go back in a bit and ask the driver if he can do it uh, so he's hoping if you can like give him a bit of extra money it'll be fine especially he can undo his bicycle like he can take the wheels off he can take a bunch of things off so I, I think it'll be fine but you never know. Um, so yeah, that was kind of fun to see him. And then I, I spent a little bit of time going around Skopje. And it's just amazing the number of statues there are. So, like, there's Alexander the Great there. This guy, I don't know who he is. Then there's statues here, I don't know who they are. Then, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a statue of, like, two swimmers. like. One is about to dive in and one is, like, you can just see the, the feet coming out of the water. And then over there, there's two other statues, so I don't know who they are. And then this bridge over here is just full of statues. I don't know if you can see them clearly or not, but there's just statues everywhere. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. And yeah, that's about, that's about it, really. Uh, so yeah, I walked around the old bazaar. Uh, but I'm meeting my group uh, to go visit Skopje in about half an hour. Uh, so hopefully tonight I'll have I'll have facts to tell you about what uh, what the city's all about. Uh, yeah, the beard is getting quite long, and so I'm kind of starting to look forward in Istanbul to get it down a bit because <laughs> I I want to see how long it gets by Istanbul. But I only have what two and a half weeks left. So it should be good. Uh, yeah, that's about it for today. So I'm gonna go visit. Oh right, and then I had a talk with a, with a French guy because I saw that something to, to visit is that really not far from Skopje, there's like a canyon and everybody's like talking, oh, there's a day trip to the canyon. There's this to the canyon, the canyon, the canyon. And so I asked him about it and then he's like, nah, like it might be really nice in the summer, but he's like in the winter time, it's not super worth it. Uh, and so I, we talked about like how, yeah, the, the the waterfalls were a bit like that for me. That like people were talking about the waterfalls, the waterfalls. And then I went to it and I was like, yeah, it's all right. It's there are waterfalls. Like it's not, yeah. But anyways, uh, I just thought that was funny. So yeah, today is exploring Skopje, and then tomorrow I'll start making my way south again uh, to Thessalonik. And yeah, it's getting cold. Why? That's why I have the hat. Uh, and it's still quite bright, so I have the sunglasses. Uh, but 
yeah, uh, with the French guy was talking as well because he didn't have gloves. He was like me. He had like biking gloves, but not proper gloves. And he's like, it's just too cold to to bike without them. And I told him that I got seven, and he said, um, yeah, that he didn't get any, but he just he's okay with just going by bus now. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's about it for, for today. Uh, but yeah, oh right, and then he talked about the temperature, he's like, no, but Thessaloniki should be a lot warmer. He says that here right now it's about zero minus one, and he says in Thessaloniki it's about uh, eight, six, eight degrees. So it should be quite nice. Anyway, so that's about it. Bye.